Uh, somebody get Zeus Network up here. They dog off the leash. Is y'all ready to talk about it? Let's juice. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Voodoo Doll TV, back with a quick little joke, or whatever the case may be. And the dog is off the leash, running through the neighborhood, rampant, and we trying to find its rightful owner. And I'm talking about Krishan. I need all the Krish animals up here. Because, see, I realized after going around YouTube, listening to most of y'all channels, y'all are just as the Lulu as Krishan. You know what I'm saying? And I've always known this. But ultimately, there will never be any accountability for anything Krishan does because the Krishan almost feels like she can do no wrong. And even if it is wrong, there's excuses. Well, it must be them. Or she must have did something to make her mad. Or they must have did something to make her mad. Or just attacking the other person because they refuse to hold their beloved pit bull uh, responsible. And that's just basically what it is. So in updated news, Krishan decides to go... Well, no, she didn't decide. Tamar Muppet Baby uh, Face Braxton decided to invite Krishan Rockhead down to the Love and War Tour. Now, let me just say this. First and foremost, the first red flag is Tamar... Why is you inviting Krishan down to the Love and War tour? I'm really, I'm dead serious. Like, I really want to know. Because somebody, inquiring minds want to know. No, most of the people at, at the Love and War tour are of an age, I want to say, in, I would say 30s and up. You know what I'm saying? Most people who have sound mind and common sense typically goes to R&B concerts such as Tamar's because number one, she sings her Muppet face right. off. We're going to do a video. And then number two, it's R&B. It's grown. It's sexy. It's, you know oh, what I mean? Uh, okay. But the Pisces Tamar the decided the that she wanted to invite Krishan Rockhead We're gonna down do a video to the, uh, oh. to the, uh, the, the event. Now, oh, y'all seen the live okay, I put up the earlier. Pisces and then the live Krishan said, oh, Tamar said I need to get dressed. So she was already supposed to be on the way to the concert. Now, I know Krishan and Tamar are both both Pisces, okay, and they're the both Pisces from uh, Pisces Baltimore, the but that's literally up, where it starts and stops do as it pertains to what oh. these two ladies, or oh, no, oh, fuck. as it okay, pertains to the what Pisces these two people have in common. Now, I mean, I'm trying to figure out how, how the paths cross. Now, was this a Tamika Mallory, Gandhi, Luther King type of deal where you just want to reach back the clock? I'm not sure what it is, but to be completely honest and quite honest, it's sick. Nevertheless, so this is what oh, happened. Fuck. This is what okay, they the said. Pisces Remember, I didn't the say Pisces it. This is what they said. The Let's get into it. So now Krishan was invited to the tour. So it is now being alleged that Krishan Rock had a physical altercation backstage at the Love and War tour because she said, allegedly, remember, I didn't say it. This is what they said, that she allegedly got mad because she couldn't perform or something like that. Or they played her on her performance or whatever. And, you know, Krishan lacking the emotional intelligence that she does, uh, she ended up acting out. Like a pit bull, you know what I'm saying? Uh, basically running off the leash up and down the neighborhood, terrorizing the people, you know. But let's get into the headlines. Now, it says exclusive Krishan Rock allegedly punches Jane Rice Chanel in the face several times backstage at Tamar Braxton's show after missing her time to perform. Now, a lot of you may be unfamiliar with James Wright, but uh, James Wright Chanel is actually Tamar's good Judy best friend. I don't know, but I first seen him when he was over there uh, promoting the patty pies. That was years ago when he was over there saying them damn patty pies was off the chain. And just like comedian Justin R. Whitehead, I'm with Justin. I'd rather eat Patty's coochie than eat Patty's pies. Them pies was overrated. But just in case y'all forgot it, y'all need a visual of who this Negro is talking about James Rice Chanel. Take a look at the old clip of him uh, singing about these pies, child. And then we're going to get into the story. Patty. If anybody know Patty Bell, tag her in the video. Patty. Whoa. Bitch, I turned into Patty. You turned into Patty after eating this. 
Mmm, Patty. How is it that two people who laugh together and love together sometimes? Ooh, ha ha! Patty! When you've been blessed, feels like heaven. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I swear, man. Been truthful like Payla Bill after eating this. Go to Walmart and buy the Payla Bill pie. Patty, bitch, you are my friend. I never knew until then, but I know now. Mm. Ah! All right, so now that you've seen that viral clip, that's James Rice Chanel. And this here, the guy R.L. Davis, Mr. R.L. or Mr. L. Davis, I guess that's his name. He's the guy, he's the organizer for the tour. I guess he's the person that puts the tour together, make sure everything is in place. Not like a promoter. Promoter typically promotes the ticket sales, but he literally is like the organizer. He takes care of everything on the tour. He got up here, P.O.'d, and he had me dying laughing. <laughs> Because he had some singers in there. And he was telling a story about what had happened. Y'all take a listen to this boy's account. And I'm going to come back with some commentary. Because he had me weak. Let's get into it. Dog, I don't even care at this point. Whoever want to get mad at me can get mad at me. Y'all got to stop. First of all, let me tell you about this ghetto, disgusting gutter butt. I don't even want to call her a girl. First of all, she's trash. She should have never been at my show. So, she come to Tamar concert which I planned, and I will say that, um, drunk with a thousand people, smelling like weed, looking dumb, okay? And so, she, apparently, she makes music. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, apparently, she wanted to drop a beat. So, she was mad that she didn't get to perform. I, I didn't know she was a performer. And even if I did know she was a performer, she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to make so she caught first of all y'all see the video she was up there a drunk fool okay she so now she caught and took your man upset because she didn't get to perform so again y'all saw her show her dumb ass during love and war she ruined the song she ruined the concert she ruined the moment so then she go backstage and she is upset Okay, because she didn't get to perform her ringtone. So she storms in Tamar's dressing room with a thousand people. Okay, and everybody's like, nobody knew you were supposed to perform a song. We didn't even know that you made music. We thought you was on Zeus. Right, so everybody's trying to calm her down. She's in there rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon, right? So then James is like, oh, it wasn't on purpose. Like nobody tried to like shade you. We, we didn't know that you were supposed to sing. She like, lie again, lie again. And James like, no, nobody knew. And she hit James right in his face, chipped James' tooth. James' face is bloody. James is at the hospital right now because his nose will not stop bleeding. She's going to prison. And I promise you, and we can cancel all this shit right now. You don't come to nobody's show. Everybody has worked their mother, uh, worked their behind off to make this tour amazing. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have a lot of help. So never will I ever let anyone get away coming to anything that anybody I know and care about plan and work hard for and assault them and I'm letting it go. So I want everybody to let Crescent know, Croissant, whoever she is and whatever she does, I'm coming for every coin she has. And y'all know me, I'm not going to stop. I can't stop, won't stop Rockefeller Records. You do not come to my show and assault people that are working on my show, okay? I might not have sang Love and War, but I'm the only reason everybody heard it tonight. All right, so y'all heard Mr. L. Davis, and let me tell you something. He had me weak when he said she carded took your man upset though that was one then he said she wanted to perform her ringtone <laughs> <laughs> bitch <laughs> y'all remember when we used to have songs for ringtone <laughs> 
<laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm cracking myself up. And also, what, what's another one he said? Oh, when he said, um, when he called that girl croissant. Girl, I'm weak. Croissant with the ringtone, bitch. You can't make this shit up. Anyway, this is his account of what happened. And you know, we don't have the details. I don't see no video. So I don't know what's going on. But what I do know is the way he described this story is extremely indicative of the character of a Christian rockhead and the Christian animals. Nevertheless, now that we didn't heard what he had to say, girl, he had me weak. I really do believe that if this is in fact true, that she did that shit. Whatever they say she did, she did that shit. Y'all know Krishan can't be, you know, she's like a caged bird. My grandma used to say this, you can't cage a bird. And I feel like Krishan is like a caged owl, bitch. I'm talking about the big ugly ones that sit on top of the tree. You know, that look down to get his prey. Yeah, Krishan is like that, you know. And they tried to put that owl in the cage. And she flipped that neck around three, four times. You know what I'm saying? And came back and popped that boy upside the head. And poor James, he's such a sweet, likable guy. He looks like he ain't gonna hurt a fly, you know. But old boy said he want Krishan to go to prison, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> not jail hope not the concentration camp bitch prison that's why he want Krishan to go for popping james upside the head and you know i've seen a lot of people in the comments talking about that's tamar's show that ain't his show if he's the person who's running the show you know they call them showrunners if he's the person that's organizing the show then yes it's tamar's show but he is the one in charge he's in charge bitches and hoes he's in charge so that's why he would say something like that so if he's going to sue Krishan, I say do whatever you got to do. Uh, you know, Krishan loves being on the run and I don't mean Beyonce. So go ahead on and file the charges. Now, we haven't heard anything from James Wright as of yet, but I'll be on the lookout. Now, let's get into some more of what old boy had to say via his Instagram story. Now, the neighborhood talk is the one who was catching all of the tea at first. Uh, and he says... That lady is a disgusting pig, and I'm going to make sure she goes to jail. I guess he downgraded it from prison. Goes on to say, you do not come to my show and attack people. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure she pays for assaulting James. She's going to prison. Oh, he back up to prison then. He back up to prison. I am so disgusted. Oh, just when I thought you had a heart for the holidays and you was going to put her in the county jail, you decided, no, that heifer got to go up to prison, bitch. I can't take this. Girl, this is hilarity at its best. All right. So let's get into some other things he had to say. All right. So in his Instagram story, he says, you need to stop rewarding bad behavior and bad people. I'm so disgusted. Krishan came to my show and assaulted James. She hit James in his mouth. She is disgusting. She deserves the way everybody treats her she is trash mind you he's saying that the girl chipped his teeth and all of that girl who knows what's going on then he goes on to say that ghetto hip-hop trash ass girl should have never been there she is the bottom of the barrel i'ma stop you when you start lying but go ahead he goes on to say i'm sorry for anyone who had to witness that trash tonight and cap so he ain't playing she ruined an amazing night and i'm gonna make sure she goes to jail okay maybe he downgraded it back to jail he's he's you know the holidays coming around maybe he felt like prison might be a bit too much for the holidays uh let's get into some other receipts he got over here or talking points then he says everyone has worked their ass off to make this tour happen and for Krishan to come and assault James I am at a loss for words not Mr. Davis you are not at a loss for words you just went in on Krishan my nigga come on now you got to be you, you got to be strong Mr. Davis Mr. Davis you didn't get hit now but you got to be strong anyway he goes on to say I just want y'all to know that girl Krishan y'all keep hyping up assaulted James Wright Chanel at Tamar's concert tonight James is in the hospital I swear I will do everything to make sure she goes to prison okay we back to prison god damn it nigga make up your mind we back to prison. He said she is trash. And that's why her life is the way that it is. She deserves every bad thing that happens to her. All right. We back to prison. I'm wondering if he's trying to get her the electric chair too, girl. Because this is a lot going on. You want the girl in, in jail or prison? Mr. Davis, why do you want the girl? Jail or prison? Girl, let's move on. Then he goes on to say, I hope everything bad that's supposed to happen to her does okay is this all mr davis i think yeah that's all mr davis had to see now they said i didn't say it but they said 
Krishan had all them people up there. That's the only ones who was hollering for her in the audience. That was her entourage. And then they also said she was drunk and belligerent. And um, the crowd was like, you know, eh, mixed on, on her being there. Uh, they also said that Krishan... Uh, should not have been there because you know nobody wants to hear love and war and then it's a vibe all the time. You know that emo ass shit that she be doing. You know what I'm saying? And that that hit by Lil Mabu who's making all the money while she over there just promoting. You know what I mean? But anyway, here's the video of them on stage. You can visibly see Mr. James Rice Chanel in the back right there, and he's looking at her like, "Why is you here, Ike? Why is you here?" Now I don't know what had happened. But let's take a look and a listen to what the vibe all the time was on stage. Take a listen. Well, this is my baby, 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 baby. It's a ball time. Yeah, I like this bitch up. Yeah, I like this bitch up. My nigga can say this. Damn. Damn. All right, so you guys just saw that, and let me just say this, girl, Tamo, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And if I was one of your fans and I paid my money to come see you belt out love and war, and I have to look on stage and see World War Three is actually happening, bitch, I would want my money back. And then, let me say this too, bitch. Y'all from Baltimore, but y'all are from two different sides of the tracks. Can we talk? You see, Tamar grew up in a real Christian household. Not like the one Krishan be telling y'all she, she, she on and she been in and, and her family be, you know, Bible thumpers and reading the word and, and Christians and in the same breath punching people in the mouth, telling everybody they sick, uh, cursing people. You know what I'm saying? They, they, this girl come up in a real Christian household with a, with a father and a mother who was really deep in the faith. Not one foot in, one foot out like the Rockies over there y'all are from completely different sides of the track there's nothing you have in common with Krishan as far as age because bitch about 40 something Krishan is 23 number one number two as far as like intellect because Krishan is slow as a fucking turtle you know what I'm saying this is what we know and then also like even musically Krishan is not an artist she make music but she's not an artist you know what I mean like she rap but she's not a rapper and Tamar, your brand and your music don't even cost for rap. So why is you got, why you got Krishan up here? And I, I'm going to give y'all my theory on this thing. But before I do that, let me say this. Because I got to put this part in here too. After receiving the backlash, Krishan Rock goes on live with all her rings on. You know, she lost her C, so it's a Ragada. You know what I'm saying? Because she she put the G in the place of the C. And she's over there showing off her rings and putting the middle finger saying it is what it is, bitch. Y'all hoes could get it how you live, whatever, whatever. And, the you know, basically the audience is split. The Krishanimals are over there making excuses. They're over there finding any reason why it is not Krishan's fault. Or they're blaming people for actually holding her accountable. Whereas the people with sense, the people who grew up with, um, you know, common sense and, and, and morals and values, they are basically saying this bitch got to be stopped but let's get back to tamar and her tamar we're gonna do a video you have absolutely tamar. nothing in common with krishan at all oh, at okay, all look, the there's is nothing that the you know you your two girls would up. never meet in baltimore if video you tamar, you and the fact that you got krishan up here oh, tells fuck. me one or two okay, things look, and now i'm getting into my theory i have this my 
my first theory. We're gonna do my a video first theory is, uh, Tamar using Prashant oh, for clout. Okay. She invited her up there. I know she invited her up there. go, I know, I know, I know. But Prashant is the trending thing. We're gonna do a video So I believe the first theory is she used Prashant to come on her tour for clout. So that she can get more people to, you know, come to this tour or whatever, whatever, whatever. And her name could get bigger in the tour dates and all of that. People could buy the tickets. That's the first theory. The second theory is that the world is a stage. These are the puppets and we are the audience in the circus. What do I mean by that? What I mean is this is all staged. I mean, we haven't seen James Wright Chanel. He ain't came out and said nothing. The organizer is the one who came out hollering. He's sending her to prison. But we ain't heard nothing from James Wright Chanel. We ain't got no video proof. We ain't got no evidence. We ain't got nothing. All we got is a day said story. Now, I know the organizer would be someone who we, we would consider as a source. Because obviously he was there. Da, 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 da. But I feel like until I see receipts, I call Cap. Just like the Jaden and um Rockhead so-called fight that was supposed to happen. I call Cap immediately because I'm like, until I see it, it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? You know, as the more I get into knowledge and not keep my ear glued to the bullshit. I know y'all think I be on this Krishan Rock shit all day. I really don't. I really be on some knowledge seeking type shit. Uh, speaking of, pull up to my educational Fridays every Friday at five so we can learn some shit. You know what I'm saying? But when I do put my ear to the bullshit, I see this stuff and I see it in a different lens. I use my third eye. You know, I was talking about I got three ears, three eyes, and two brains. So I use my third eye and my second brain to analyze things and I realize controversy sells that's facts and what we know is james wright chanel was selling them goddamn patty pies and when he got up there and acted a fool behind them patty pies the sales went through the roof everybody was getting patty pies hell i went and got patty pies i had my mama getting patty pies everybody if y'all was around for the patty pie era y'all know what i'm saying is true right so this is again this is my second theory so patty pies get the flour off the shelf just in time for thanksgiving that's just my part of my second theory the other part of my second theory is tamar braxton wins because now more people come to see her sing her love and war tour you know what i'm saying so more ticket sales for patty no more ticket sales for tamar more patty pies for uh patty the third part of my theory is think about this you guys just hear me out krishan rockhead has not been trending in the, in the media for i want to say at least the last four or five days maybe a week We've been on Kiki, we've been on Jeezy, we've been on everybody but Krishan. And then they tried to come out and say, oh, hon, Jane had a fight with no receipts, I call Cap, and then we find out it's Cap, right? Then she tried to come out with Carlissa coming to see the mama. Now, oh, uh, see the baby, see Junior. Junior, huh, Junior, he like me do be that Illuminati, heavy on the Illuminati part, you know what I'm saying? Hold that Illuminati part, that part. Yeah, that kind of got a little buzz or whatever, but it didn't really hit, hit like myth hits. It didn't hit like myth hits, no toy. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I believe that when, well, this is what we know. If Krishan doesn't train, Krishan doesn't make money. Facts. She doesn't sell that fashion over. She does, nobody talks about Krishan unless Krishan does something extremely stupid, which it doesn't take much for her to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, and she punches this guy in the face. Now Krishan is back trending. She's making money. You get it? So now Krishan making money because she's trending and she loves the clout. And then you got Patty selling them nasty ass pies just in time for Thanksgiving for y'all to go fly them bitches off the shelf. So uh, cause James Wright Chanel was promoting them. And Tamar gets to sell them tickets to that Love and War tour. Henceforth, moving it from the D list to the C minus list. You see what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Tamar saying her face off, her music is off the chain. So I'm not saying that. But I'm saying as far as celebrity, y'all know Tamar down there. She ain't even D list. Tamar probably like a S list. You know what I'm saying? You know, we all know the real star is Tony. <laughs> Doing all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But um, I believe that's my second theory. Like for real. Tamar wins with tour tickets. Krishan wins with doggone trending and making money. Uh Patty sell them nasty ass pies. And they pay James Wright Chanel and the other boy. Say what I said. I 
believe this is cap, but even if it's not cap, if it's true, what I want to say to the Christian animals is I done heard a lot of y'all today. Y'all are more delusional than Christian. Y'all uh put Krishan over y'all would probably put Krishan over your kids. Yeah, say that. The reason I say that because you put Krishan over the kids in the world that we have today. They got kids who are looking up to Krishan, thinking that what Krishan does is okay and it's not. She lacks emotional intelligence and cannot make decisions in in theory because she automatically feels like the answer to everything is pop one, pop two, pop three. Now I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not foolish enough to know that some people are just like that. Hence why she's on baddies or over there at the Zeus network. Well, that's all they do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying when you are moving in an arena, like, you know, celebrity and you're trying to, to make a name for yourself and get jobs and all of that stuff. If this is in fact true, I feel like Krishan, you, you screwing yourself, baby. You're screwing yourself, fat. Who gonna want to work with you in this case? You gonna haul off and sock them in the head. You know what I'm saying? I know I wouldn't, bitch, but no, I would let you haul off and sock me, bitch, for real, for real. Cause see, I would take everything from you and Junior, huh, Junior. Look, T.S. Madison said, um, Tasha K. Churn ain't gonna be able to go to college. Bitch, I would call to be a Sue your ass. Sure would. Goddamn right I would. Shit, nigga asked me if I was Sue Krishan. Bitch, is a pig, pussy, pork. Hell yeah, bitch, I'll sue that old. Down to the ground. But either way, you know, ultimately, it's a bad look uh, for Tamar, but Tamar wins in sales, but ultimately, it's a bad look for the culture, because now you trying to, you trying to get her warmed up on the old hoes, you know what I'm saying, we already got a bunch of old Christian animals that are the Lulu, uh, now you trying to bring her up there with them, and it's just not gonna work, and like I said, nobody wants to hear, you survive all the time, or Junior, huh, Junior, you love you, do be the Illuminati, can't you tell I need love, for real, think about it, what if you at the concert and Tamar just ended with one of her songs saying, wait a minute, baby, going too fast, I'm going to turn back. And you think about your nigga and you like, ooh, yeah. And then here come Krishan hollering, fuck blue face, I went and found a new bag. Bitch, throw the whole concert away, the promoter, the organizer, bitch, the, the security at the door, bitch. Throw the CDs away, throw the streams away, throw Tamar's Muppet baby head and her wigs away, bitch. Throw the whole thing away. Say what I said, bitch. I didn't come to see this hoe. Say what I said. But you know, at the end of the day, like I said, the world is a stage. She's a puppet. We are all a part of the circus show. And that's just facts and what it is. And these people do not care about the people that it is influencing because all they care about is making their bag. But also, Krishan is definitely, in my opinion, allegedly, they said on the spectrum. That girl got to be slow. I'm not talking about, like, that ADHD bullshit. I'm talking about, like, for real, for real, like, medication. I don't know if her mama was doing anything, you know. I don't know. I don't know. But some she must have got dropped on her head or something because Krishan is thrown the fuck off. Do you hear me? But anyway, what y'all think about this girl? I think I said everything I wanted to see. I mean, are we surprised that this perm? At this point, I actually, I'm studying the Krishanimals. Uh, I really am. I, re- I go in people's lives who are pro Krishan and I study them. Because I really want to know the mindset of a person who can let this 23-year-old girl who claims she's a grown-ass woman when it's time to cuss your ass out and tell you that she got a, a $2.6 million house and mind your business and da-da-da-da-da. But when it's time for her to be held accountable for her doing duck fuck shit, y'all, oh, but she's only 23, Girl, y'all say fuck Junior. She's only 23 when his when his back was damn leaning back like Fat Joe in them. Y'all got to be strong. Then she around here telling people she put $500,000 in Junior Savings account. We ain't seen no furniture in the house. Girl, bye. Y'all can believe what y'all want to believe. But I believe we all getting played. I believe Krishan might be on the spectrum. I believe Tamar is using this to sell them ticket tours. And I believe... Patty said, bitch, y'all done slow down on my pie sales. And I need you hoes back over there at the Walmart taking these goddamn pies off the shelf, bitch. We done made too many this year. That's what I believe. Say what I said. But anyway, y'all, what y'all think about this? Uh, the Christianimals are going to be butthurt, of course, obviously. But I don't give two fucks. If y'all know me over here, I don't care. Krishan can get it any day of the week. Just like all these other celebrities. I don't even like celebrities, to be honest. So that's why I drag them so much. But drop down in the comments. 
and let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on all of the platforms, Twitter, Twitch, Rumble, Instagram, the Discord. Girl, follow me everywhere, girl. And I'll see you all later. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo dog is? The nigga you just had up here.